So my name is Aaron Jennings. I'm the Design and Communications Manager for Polymaker. Uh, Polymaker is a third-party material specialist for the 3D printing industry. Uh, we manufacture in China, but we have operations in New York and Netherlands. So what we did was uh, our R&D lab and some of the material scientists uh, in our R&D, they saw a shift in the industry of 3D printing towards more of an industrial application. And for that very reason, we wanted to look at uh, properties uh, within the materials that would allow 3D printers to prototype based on what the mass manufacturing part would do. These intrinsic properties of the material uh, were extremely important to us. So we were r and quite a lot of different materials, uh, testing a lot of them on, on our lines, and uh, polycarbonate was an extremely interesting material for us. We were able to take this material, uh, we did a lot of uh, enhancements uh, and a lot of engineering to it, and we were able to bring this to the 3D printing market. But I think we're seeing a shift now in 2015 where I think the materials are becoming more important and I, I, I think we see that in the industry where people are seeing the value of materials and, and what they want to do is they want to prototype and they want to prototype in a material that will give them the intrinsic properties that would, they would see in a final product. By nature, polycarbonate is quite a difficult material to print with. Um, it needs quite high temperatures to, to print, so all above and beyond 310, 320 degrees. So our R&D lab were able to engineer it so that the printing temperatures are down to a moderate of 250 to 270 degrees, which makes it more adaptable to the 3D printing industry. I think what we're seeing also is a, a shift in the, the selection of materials. Uh, just from a polymaker side, uh, we have a variety of different portfolios of PLA, and now we're seeing ourselves focus more on the industrial uh, materials, uh, the true engineering-based materials, and I think uh, polycarbonate is just a, a glimpse of what's to come in the future. I think uh, the biggest bottleneck for us in the 3D printing industry is to get this technology into the hands of uh, the general public. And I think the design language is going to be that. One company I saw, what they've done is they've allowed designers to design a part that is just very basic, let's say uh, it's a vase. And what they do in their software is allow new users um, and the general public to be able to uh, edit this and, and to be able to um, customize it through a very intuitive uh, interface. And I think that's the right approach for the 3D printing industry and it's fantastic to see it here at the TCT show. Something that we're going to be focusing on uh, in the uh, near future is uh, more industrial grade materials. Um, our polycarbonate is uh, in fact going to be becoming a uh, family. We call it the Polymaker PC family. And the first product that's come out is PC Plus. Um, so that's what people are seeing on the floor. Um, and we've just launched that two weeks ago. But within two months time, you're going to see a new material coming out. It is an enhanced PC, what we call PC Max. Uh, as a materials company, it's uh, our responsibility to be able to start to develop these materials to allow these engineers who are a little bit more hesitant, now they are able to mass manufacture uh, in a small scale or they're able to prototype these parts in a product or in a material that would be real to uh, the part that would be mass manufactured.